Hey everyone! I have said before I have missed you guys. So right now I am actually about to give you guys a um a review on uh well not a review. I'm gonna give you guys an update um on me. I'll give you guys an update on me. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys an update on me and um my three month post op. My three month post op um Tummy Tuck with Dr. Morgan DeBooty here in Atlanta, Georgia, right out of Duluth. Well, he's out of Duluth, Georgia. And, um, guys, I've been having some problems with recording on my main computer. So now I have reverted back to my tablet. So the quality might not be as good, but I need to get things out to you guys. So, but anyway, I have missed you guys so, 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 so much. And, guys, thank you guys for following me on this journey, on all my journeys, on my weight loss, on my makeup, on my workout supporting me with personal training everything that you guys have done for me to make me the better me i want to be here so that i can give back to you all but anyway i'm going to give you guys an update on me and um my three months post op i'm almost four months but um i'm going to give you guys a four months one two and four months come but i had my tummy tuck on march the 27th 2015 here with dr robert morgan debuti and um I'm going to show you guys how I'm looking. I'm very, very pleased. I'm swollen, and I swell a lot at night. Um, and when I start to swell, oh, I can feel it. It feels like, you know, I'm like swelling like I'm pregnant. But anywho, you guys can see I got a tan, though, too. You know, I'm all tanned up from uh, working out and being outside at Stone Mountain. So, still talking funny. These Invisalign, you know what I'm saying? So, um... But anyway, let me show you guys what's going on with me and this body of mine and the changes that I have been going through for the last six years. Yeah, you guys see I have long hair, some long hair that's up in here. So, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I'm looking. This is me and my body, my little suit, uh, getting a little bit loose and stuff. Um, I'm trying to like start back toning up. But anyway, I am about to give you guys and show you guys how I'm looking. But anyway, I hope that don't fall out. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let me make sure everything's together. But anyway, I had a tummy tuck with my muscle repair. And I also had some liposuction, you know, right here on the hips or the hip rolls. You know what I'm saying? Because all this right here just needs to flow. Y'all know that? It needs to flow. When you guys are on your journey, make sure you make your body do what it do. I mean, target whatever areas that you want to work on. So anyway, this right here needed to flow. So I had some liposuction done right here on the hip roll because this right here I had a little circle right there that wasn't doing me any good it was just sitting there so anyway I'm going to show you guys my body I also had a breast reduction with Dr. Robert Morgan the booty in 2009 and then also at the beginning of this year I had some surgery on my ear he did that is why I've had three um procedures done with him this right here what you guys are seeing i have been meaning to tell you that or some of you guys have not gotten that this right here is where i had my gallbladder taken out before all my skin was pulled down this right here was like way up in here and he pulled that way down so anyway i'm currently trying to to use some cream to actually um lighten that so anyway i'm going to show you guys what i am working with so anyway this is my body and I am, that's a part of my scar. Show you guys my scar, my incision. It goes from hip to hip. And as you guys can see, let me show you something. As you guys can see here, and all up under that, y'all see that tattoo? When Dr. DeBooty did my first procedure and stuff, and I had a scar that was in the fold of my breast, the same, uh, the, or the tattoo artist that I used spread with in Living Color Tattoos, he actually tattooed my scars and made it look very very beautiful soft and sexy and Dr. DeVuti was able to say part of my first tattoo with my kids initials so what Fred is going to do after I'm healed now you guys can see I'm swollen you guys can see that right there you can see I'm swollen so but what Fred is going to do after I am healed I am actually going to get the same part you guys can see some of this vine that's up in that y'all see that all that and then it curves all the way up under there all of that is going to go all the way around here. I am going to tattoo that so you won't be able to see that scar. So the scar goes from hip to hip. Goes around there within the fold and within my bikini line. You can't see it. Dr. DeVuti is keeping it sexy. He's keeping it sexy for you. So anyway, show you guys. Side view. Dang, my booty look black. 
But my lightning, my booty ain't black now. So, but anywho, this is how my body's looking right now at um, three months. Three months, post-op, tummy tuck, Dr. Morgan DeVooty, guys. If you guys don't know nothing about Dr. Morgan DeVooty, now you know because Black Candy is giving you guys the business, okay? So, but anyway, um, I have been eating right, working out, and I really, really have to keep it good and I'll keep it 100 in the kitchen because I cannot work out as much. I cannot do any uh, core exercises for a whole entire year. And you guys know when you exercise and work out, the core is the main part of your body that you would need in most of any of your exercises. So I try to do as uh, less invasive exercises where I don't have to engage my core as much. But when I tell you when you do work out, you have to use your core to some extent. And um, so I am running, you know, doing legs, doing push-ups. But and when actually when I walk and stuff, when I walk, you know, my hips and, and I can feel everything all up in here. You guys see all that swelling. And I'm just be so excited when that go down. But anyway, why well, leave that so y'all can see just a little bit from what I'm working with, Dr. Davuti. So anywho, I am very, very happy and pleased with this, but still trying to work with everything that's in the kitchen and um yeah, still prepping my meals, still on top of everything. Guys, if I don't prep my meals, I don't know what I'll do. I'm so used to it. It's just that I don't feel like, hey, I'm not going to cook today. I'll just grab something, um, you know, to eat for lunch today while I'm at work. I can't do that. Um, that's not me. That's not what I've trained myself. I'm just like, oh, I'm going to run out to a store. No. I want to know what I got going in my body. Like, you know, I've cooked for my family. I'm starting to cook for me now. I want to have some Cajun tilapia and some broccoli and brown rice this week. Um, last week I had salads and I had different marinades of chicken and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, i am you know, got to get myself up and ready for the week and know what's going into my body so that I can keep all this right. And I don't want to eat a lot of things that's going to cause me to bloat because when this gets tight... You guys see that? Oh, when it gets tight, oh my God. You know, it's like very uncomfortable. I do sleep in my binder. I still wear a garment every single day to work. And, um, hang on, this is my honey. Hey, babe. What chicken? Yeah, you got some. I've already cooked for you. I'm, I'm actually doing a video. And you're on my video right now. Okay. All right, all right. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye. So, anywho, um, anyway, trying to make sure there's enough of that. Make, I'm trying to make sure that I am doing whatever I can to maintain my body, to maintain um, a healthy lifestyle, to make good choices, to be an example. I am a mom. Um, and sometimes people go by what they see. You know, if you want to give an example or you want to lead somebody, they go by what they see. And they look at your journey and want you to help them along the way. And that's what I'm into, giving back. I want to show people how I eat, how I do things and stuff. And I'll, I just not, I'm just not up for just jumping and fast food and all that stuff. I have to maintain all of this. Uh, even though I'm swollen, I am very, very pleased. So this is... My three months post op tummy tuck review. So, whatever you guys may be doing might be working for you. I just do what works for me. I'm very, very happy and pleased with my overall results. And I thank you guys for following. Make sure you guys subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.